Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's doing all right this morning. Today is Monday, February 20th. It's President's Day today. So I don't know if everybody gets a day off for that. or I don't think uh, when I was working the last job uh, at Kelly's Foods, um, they didn't give us, I don't think they gave us President's Day off. Seemed like we got Christmas, Easter, I don't think we got New Year's. Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving. I think that's about it. I think that's about all they gave us. Uh, we worked most, most holidays. Uh... It's, like I said, Monday, February 20th. Currently, it's 46 degrees. High today is 58. Uh, chance of precipitation, 90%. Humidity, 74% right now. Winds are at 1 mile per hour. and Air quality is good at 32. So that's better than it has been, the air quality. Today, there'll be a taste test with Mike. And I tried... The Breakstone, Breakstone's Cottage Doubles that we got at Kroger, and I got the I tried the pineapple uh, one. They have a little container, uh, kind of like the yogurts, you know, the flips. It's got a little separate container with the fruit in it, and you just push, you know, bend it and let it go in. And then you, well, I had to use my spoon to get the rest of it out, but. Uh, it's like that, kind of like one of those yogurts that has stuff in a separate little space. So check that out today. And we had, what's for dinner, I had, if y'all remember when I made it, uh, I made smoked sausage bake. Gosh, it's been about a month ago. And uh, I'm we had a lot of it so i made it into two casserole you know dishes put it in two casserole dishes um and then i froze one of them well it was in aluminum it was an aluminum pan with a lid on it and i froze it and we just we were I was, when i was going through the freezer looking for stuff the other day and putting stuff up <laughs> cleaning it out and reorganizing it i, I said well, you know what we need to eat that so it's pretty real easy. It was all season, ready to go. Just put it in the oven. Uh, took a, took a little while since it was frozen, but it worked. It worked fine. Oh, here's what it looks like. Looked like I made some of the cheddar garlic biscuits. That's that spray butter on them. This had smoked sausage, and um, this one had some of this seasoned um, uh, sweet potatoes that we got at Aldi. And I'll tell you what, they were really good. And then there's the last of the cottage cheese and pineapple we had. I figured we'd finish it. It was it was a really good meal. And tonight we're having, I had one more rack of those Lloyd's ribs uh, in there. And they are, they're, they're great, good, they're really great. I put them in a crock pot. They're, they're pre-cooked, but I put them in a crock pot and put sauce on them. Or did I? I don't know if I had to put any other sauce on them. I can't remember. They got, seems like they got plenty. Anyway, I put them in the crock pot. And that way they're ready whenever we want them. And we'll have some of these. I think they're twice baked potatoes that we got one time. Um... They got cheese and stuff on them. Looks like bacon bits and stuff or something like that. And they're frozen. We'll fix those. And I think I got some slaw mix left. That'd be good with ribs. Barbecue ribs. If y'all have never had that, I'll, let me see if I can get that out and show you. This rib. Right here. 
voids. We got these at Grocery Outlet. Um, they were $7.99. I have got them as low as $5. Uh, it, when they got close to the date on them before, they'll freeze them and mark them down. And that's what I did with them anyways, freeze them. And uh, so I got some as low as $5. I think this one was $7.99. But um, they're St. Louis style. And believe me, they're really good. They're really, really good. So it's a little bit of show and tell for tonight. I thought I might hold on a minute. I'll... Yeah, I just I just cut them up and put them in the crock pot. They're they're really good. I don't know what they are in other stores. They'd probably be over ten dollars. But it's a whole rack of ribs, and there's no really there's no fat on it. I don't believe. Uh, I remember just cut them up and. You can eat most of it. I mean, you might have a little fat on it, but not much. And it's really quick. I mean, it's easier than making them from scratch, so to speak, or from raw. Okay, I got a few. Sorry, I'm sniffling. My, I guess it's my allergies, or either I got something, a little cold or something. I don't know what. Probably allergies, more likely. What's wrong with my... That's a piece of paper. Okay, got some tidbits today. Okay, let me put my glasses on. Missing U.S. World War II ship found near Japan after 80 years. And I don't know if that, I doubt that's a real picture of it because it, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's been on sitting there for 80 years uh, after going missing over 80 years ago the remains of a US submarine from World War II have been discovered off Hokkaido Japan recently Tamaki Ura of the University of Tokyo found the USS Albacore which sunk 10 enemy ships during the war the ships with the ship with 85 members likely hit a mine near Hokkaido near November 1944 it was thought to be lost forever and uh, maybe that'll give you know that'll give some of these people closure i'm sure the one i'm sorry my, i have to wipe my nose um i'm sure they you know it was awful for them never to have you know uh, known what happened to their loved ones okay and this is neat how do dogs help rescue people buried alive by avalanche uh, as dogs can smell up to 100,000 times better than humans, I can't imagine that, you know. They sniff out those buried alive by an avalanche. Dogs can detect tiny drops in odor molecule concentrations, which lets them estimate how long a person was at a spot. The person who emits a scent cone beneath snow will have the maximum concentration of molecules helping dogs locate them. Visit this most remote hotel in the world to gaze at auroras. The Sheldon Galley, often described as the most remote hotel in the world, sits on a private 4.9 acre rock, an ice covered outcrop in Alaska's Denali National Park. It's not accessible by roads, railways, or trails and can only be reached by air. Between August and April, you can enjoy a never-like-before chance to gaze at Aurora Borealis here. So if uh, if it's a hotel, I mean, I guess they have to get all their deliveries from a uh, airplane. That'd be a that'd be a real pain because <laughs> they have to have deliveries for some. I'm sure they maybe they have. I wouldn't think they'd have a restaurant or something or a motel. I don't know. Uh, have to have something to eat while you're there since you can't get out. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Well, let's go to McDonald's. Well, let's get in the plane. We'll be right back. No. no. Uh, endangered African penguin chicks hatch at Arizona Aquarium. Cute. Odyssey Aquarium in Arizona is celebrating the hatch, hatchling or hatching of three endangered African penguin chips. Chicks. Chips. Oh. I'm on a roll today. Officials claim that the tiny chicks, 
hatched a few weeks ago and will remain behind the scenes with their parents until they are ready for a public appearance. Over the decades, these African penguins have suffered a massive population decline. <coughs> okay, let's see if we can find some nice news. <coughs> Here it is. Okay. Archaeologists uncover artifacts on the land where Harriet Tubman was born. Archaeologists discovering a trove of artifacts on the land near Harriet Tubman's birthplace, including a 200-year-old glass perfume stopper that once was part of a West African spirit cachet. Tubman the famed bio, uh, abolitionist who escaped slavery and then returned back to lead others to freedom using the Underground Railroad was born on Thompson Farm near the Maryland coastline. Officials, including Maryland Governor Wes Moore and two of Tubman's descendants, announced the discovery last week outside of the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center in Dorchester County. Archaeologist June Sobleski said the perfume stopper led her team to a whole cache of artifacts. I knew at the time we had something important here, that this was connecting these people to their lineage in Africa, she said. We found Africa on Maryland's eastern shore. Wow. Wow. Mammals that have strong social bonds live longer, study finds. Humans aren't the only social animals in the world. One has to simply look at dogs and their uncanny ability to bond with anything from cats to deer and even lions. But being sociable doesn't just make you the life of the party. Be it in the human or animal kingdom, it may also make you live longer. While having a couple of close pals might seem like a surprising stand-in for the secret fountain of youth, a team of researchers saw a direct correlation between longevity and group living in, in mammals. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Communications, mammals that lived in pairs or groups were shown to generally live longer than those who lead solitary lifestyles. Group species live longer than solitary species. Zhu Ming Zhao, an author of the study and evolutionary biologist, told the Wall Street Journal. Wow. Other news. Feeling sleepy? A, rest, a recent study found that humans may need more rest in winter, so don't feel bad about hitting that snooze button an extra few times during the colder months. Hmm. Maybe that's why I'm sleeping longer. Uh, Spain has become the first European country to guarantee medical leave for women experience, experiencing me menstrual pain. Hmm. This solar farm in Colorado is doing triple duty as a carbon sink and prairie preserver in addition to generating renewable energy. The power of kindness. After a neurodivergent teen's grand gesture to his valentine fell flat, his cat classmates rallied around him to make him feel better, even cheering for him so loud that they got in trouble. He told me it was one of the best days of his entire life, his mom said. <laughs> A massive horde of ducks stopped traffic in China for several minutes, circling around a car a few times before going on their merry way. <laughs> oh, let's see. Post of the day. Okay, here's our um, quote of the day, and it's from Abraham Lincoln. Leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. That's good, good advice. All right, everybody, I think that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day. And definitely check out Taste Test with Mike later on. And I try the Cottage Doubles from Breakstone. Bye, everybody, and God bless.